Alright guys, this is about um, reinforcing new relationships and constant development. One of the things I do recognize, and I see it a lot in the Philippines, is people start going their own way. Because guys often have their own thing. They're, I mean, a lot of guys I know are into politics, sports, um, Western stuff. At the same time, a lot of the partners are into gossiping with friends on their mobile phone talking to their people uh, from their own town etc and they're separate lives they've gone their own way now over time that will lead to separation without a doubt they'll just end up going off and doing their own thing and you'll get and you'll get wake up one day and three people have brought this up this week um, that their relationships are coming to an end and the relationships aren't coming to an end because of um, anything substantial is drifting. They got tied up on the day-to-day -day stuff that doesn't tie together. Um, one of my friends, he's got some health issues, his wife's perfectly fit, she wants to travel experience and do other stuff. They've drifted. Another friend, um, the wife was always on the phone, likes hanging around with their friends, at the same time, moved into the Western way of life. And I've got to, this is one thing I do want to say quite strongly. Girls nights out, I don't agree with at all. Because at the end of the day, I can understand meeting up and going to a restaurant. All for that. Going out to a club with girls and all that sort of stuff. Um, I see women should have grown out of. Because at the end of the day, there's one thing clubs have revolved around and always have done, which is meeting men, meeting women, whatever. It's about the night. And as such, that's why I'm not a fan of girls' nights out. And I think there's this, I mean, a boys' night out is exactly the same. But the same, I mean, I was talking to my wife about this last night. The thing with me is, a boys' night out for me is normally work-related anyway in the sense that it's team building, it's we normally sit around a hotel bar or something discussing projects. Um, it's not going out dancing, meeting younger uh, people or whatever. We're not into that. Um, we're more likely to discuss what was on the menu earlier. We're more likely to, well, sorry, we do discuss what's on the menu and what we had to eat. Then we discuss the project. We discuss um, stuff we haven't been able to do during the day. But do go out clubbing and all this. Stuff. No. I'm not 21. You know, when I was 21, I was out drinking, partying. And at the same time, even then, I wasn't even looking for the women. It's just that they, they're very, very accessible when you go clubbing. But at the same time, I recognize that's what that environment is. So I do recognize that we've got girls' night out and this, I, I'm not for it. What I am for is, you know, like my wife meets up with her classmates and they go out for a meal and stuff. That's, that's normal stuff. That's relationship normality. Where a woman has to dress up to the nines and go out and party and it's like, well, we're just out with my friends. Yeah. I've seen that stuff happen so many times. I've seen so many relationships destroyed with that stuff. Um, and I bring it up because it would actually come up in the conversation last night. I simply don't agree with it. If you're married, you're married. And that, that's, pro that's probably why um, some of this stuff sounds a bit blunt. Is because I do think that if you invite... If you invite problems into your relationship, then there's very likely that something may go wrong. That's all I can say on that. Now, the drifting, back back to drifting. So there's been three people bring it up. And there was somebody last year that also brought up a similar thing. His wife works in a restaurant. He works in a large chain store in the UK. They work different shifts and stuff. So they started coming home at different times. And they started to separate. Because... the. She's chatting with the guys in the restaurant. He's chatting, you know, he's at work. He's managing a large store. And then when they're at home, they're focused on the work stuff as well because there's stuff that they're doing for, you know, 
he he's doing um his rotors and stuff she's doing the the invent the inventory for the restaurant or flyer design or something you know it's not together and it, one of the fundamental things you need to be doing is creating an environment that gives you your time if you've got kids it's the same kids will take time like no tomorrow but you need to recognize that as a couple to keep that couple together you need to pull pull it together you need to have your nights out together you need to do things together if the kids are at school and you're both at home together during the day do stuff together you need to get stuff that works for both of you now i know a lot of guys in the philippines will say well i do this and she does that and we're happy yeah you are now because you're only in year two or three but over time things change and the more drifting allowance you have in there the more risks you have of the whole thing failing which is why i do stress that you have to work at a relationship on a regular basis you have to see what you can do to make things work and pull things together all, all the time and get your partner to recognize that you need to push things back because at the end of the day it's very easy to become distant and not recognize things you know for example if you're away from home a lot so people can get used to you not being there simply because you're not there and that's something you got to reckon how do you fill that gap how do you fill that void do you keep contact throughout the day do you send flowers do you do stuff that you know how do you keep the the romance alive because if you're not doing it it's very likely you're on a path that will eventually either drift apart or we're still friends but we're uh, we're still friends but I, I, there's nothing there anymore because it's been allowed to drift for so long and it's bizarre the last week or so because it's quite simply just hearing some of this stuff and you're thinking but i know these people are happy together you know these people are happy yet they become too content in their own worlds that they've allowed this to happen relationships need to be pulled and gelled together on a regular basis and there may be stuff you don't like doing for your partner but do it with them anyway it's like some people will go to dance classes myself i hate dancing but at the same time if my wife wanted to do that yeah i'm there i'll be i'll support my wife whatever she wants to do in the same way my wife had no problem with going her ass off with me going fishing whatever it is she don't mind that's all part and parcel of pulling it together and i think it's one of the things I want to stress this week as being one of my main videos, I suppose, is keep working on your relationship. Make it stronger. Because um, there's plenty of stuff out there that will make it weaker on a weekly basis. Thanks for watching.